All right, so uh, we just went four and one with uh, Living End, and the deck felt fairly powerful. I mean, there's a there's a a lot of um, a lot of risk, <laughs> a lot of risk, like inherently built into the deck. You need to draw a bunch of different parts for the the deck to function, and even though it has a lot of redundancy. It can still get tripped up some games, which I mean, as as far as modern goes right now, it's not a very risky deck to be playing. It's actually fairly consistent compared to a lot of decks. Um, unfortunately, our one loss was to the one Eldrazi deck we played, which is sort of the matchup we want to be testing the most right now, and it certainly doesn't feel like living end is massively ahead if ahead at all so that's not good I think this list could potentially be built more towards beating Eldrazi as well so there's that as well um, other than that uh, I feel like my inexperience with the deck I could have played a little better I, I think one of my key sort of sort of uh, Errors piloting the deck was I was too quick to attempt to living end rather than biding my time uh, at the cost of my life total to go off later for a more effective living end. I was going I was living ending too early I think for smaller living ends that didn't end up winning me the game. Um, other than that, yeah, the, um, living end is certainly. Uh, a reasonable deck to to choose right now. It's unclear whether it's good against Eldrazi though, so I suppose that is the big question is can any deck beat Eldrazi before it gets banned? Alright, I'm Sean McLaren. I'll see you next time.